as the grace of your building. There were some poorly dressed nobodies blocking the way to my carriage, and they said they wanted a haircut. So I told them to leave our kingdom before I set my security on them. <laughs> ah, that's better. I'm here for my annual haircut for the start of the year to make me look absolutely divine. <laughs> you flatter me, good barber. You're always too kind to me. I'm here for the usual, you know, nothing too fancy. Just a little bit off here. A lot off here, you know. Maybe a little bit of beard dye or something like that. Is that something that you can do for me? Yes, good. That is why I come to you. You are the best here. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. And Barbara, enough of this small talk. Shall we get to business? We both have a lot of important things to attend to. I notice that you want me to sit down there. Excellent. Everything is looking absolutely amazing, Barbara. And oh, of course, you still have that picture of me down there. Excellent. That's exactly what I'd like to go for, that look over there. Something like that, okay. Thank you. I'll just get down from here and take my seat. Thank you. Please do. Get yourself comfortable. Get a little fuck one. Are you feeling nice and cozy there? Everything is set up according to your personal needs there. Perfect. That's just how we like it. And, of course, I've got a nice gown here to protect your wonderful attire there. That red really does look absolutely amazing on you. No one else here in this kingdom can pull off such a look as prestigious as you, Lord Farquaad. No one. Absolutely no one. You are too kind, too gracious. That's why everybody loves you. We live to please you, Lord Farquaad. Now please let me just place this girl on you there. Okay. Relationship between a barber 
and its client or their client is one of trust of great importance and you'll find there is no other closer relationship than those between a barber and a client in there as well it's just one of those things yeah and i you are too kind to me honestly you flatter me you really do so I would like to make sure that we have that beard attended to for you as I know that you would like to keep that black image of your black beard growing there and your stubble to go with your black hair there and we, I know we have a very particular way to do that usually it's the the bit of a bowl there and uh, the helmet and we cut around the helmet um, but we'll do something a little bit just to freshen it up this time a little bit different for you okay and you're dying your beard black there yeah so uh, even though it looks absolutely amazing in that sort of blonde dark blondy look you've got there and you wouldn't have thought it because you just have all of that image that just shows that you've got black hair and a black beard so really you you still look absolutely amazing but if that is what you want Lord Farquhar then of course I can either or we can shave it for you there as well or, or just dye it for you if you want a long beard for the winter Lord Farquhar it's entirely up to you A fine choice of course you wouldn't want to hide that dashing face of yours Lord Farquhar absolutely not so I think we'll just begin with a nice relaxing uh, hot towel for your face open up your pores you'll feel good and relax and just completely get in the zone I've got something special for you here as well so Lord Farquhar I'm just going to get a towel out here is that okay perfect thank you hot and fresh from the fireplace over there it's all been pre uh, dampened there as well and you can notice the aroma there can you smell that yes of course a uh, gingerbread to your taste lord Farquhar. okay i know you love the smell of gingerbread so that's what we've got laid in this hot steamy towel for you lord Farquhar. is that okay perfect so we're going to just place this on there for you and get you nice and relaxed so we're just going to place it on here there okay we're going to wrap it around your chin there then we're going to wrap it around the other side of your face there okay and now i'm just going to get the other part of the towel okay and now i'm going to place it on top here so this is kind of a full Full, body, full facial a hot towel here and this is just going to open up all your pores Lord Farquhar is everything okay there perfect you just take a good time as much time as you need to relax feel good just enjoy the process that's what it's all about and I'm sure you're going to absolutely love what I've got for you today by the way I'd like to say thank you for uh, dealing with those uh, loitering uh, beings outside the barber shop of course we don't need the patronage of all those unsavory type of people so thank you so much for shouting them and getting them to clear off uh, from your carriage that really is most gracious of you we don't want those sorts of people unsavory folk you know in this barber shop and we like to keep clear of all of those uh, that uh, have been sort of coming to this area I've noticed a little bit I know you like the perfect kingdom and the perfect sort of people and there keeps uh, keep on uh, this constant stream of there we go of outsiders shall we say and I know you've got a strict policy on all things sort of fairy tale and things like that I know so yeah, that's not ideal, is it? Okay, Lord Farquhar, so your paws open there. Now I said I had a little bit of a surprise for you here. So I've just got this out of the oven, and I thought, because I know you have a complete resentment of gingerbread men, so we have 
what I would consider a sort of fairy tale gingerbread man, but of course for your own personal taste, Lord Farquhar, this gingerbread man have taken the liberty of taking it all to pieces for your own pleasure. Okay, so if you'd like to just feast on a little bit of gingerbread man, these are slightly hard on the outside and nice and soft in the middle there as well. So if you'd like that, Lord Farquhar, you could see a little bit of mouth there of the gingerbread man, so I'm sure that will please you greatly. Okay, a little bit of mouth and of course the buttons in there, it's uh, of course gingerbread man. I know it goes back to your uh, your lineage, I don't know how many years back when of course uh, the gingerbread men were of a danger to the kingdom and this is to pay homage of that for you Lord Farquhar and your esteemed heritage and your tradition that you'd like to continue in this area so we've got a little bit of leg there Lord Farquhar so I'm just going to place it here and of course the gingerbread uh, face there too so I'll place it here so it's a little bit hot on, on the tray there but just if you'd like to just take a little bit of a taste or have as much as you'd like it's all yours Lord Farquhar please do enjoy just trim down that beard and I'm going to use these very special scissors which I've got here of course these are gold with a ruby on the inside just a bit like your tunic there Lord Farquhar this is bespoke as well and of course donated by the finest patron of this barbershop I'd like to thank you so much again so we're going to use this to just take out the volume and the weight of your beard and then once we've then we will just shave it down and get it all nice and smooth for you, perfect, or maybe just to a certain extent so you can just see a little bit of stubble so it looks like it's black already on your on your beard and as it grows it will go blonder and blonder uh, so we'll get it down nice and short for you. Okay, that's great. as many gingerbread men as you would like. It gives me great pleasure knowing that you will enjoy them and relax here. Excellent. That's perfect. That's the perfect length of what we need at the moment. Through your bed. 
это here for you. Would you like something a bit more traditional for your shaving foam? Or would you like something a bit more modern for your shaving foam? <laughs> of course. I'm sure you would like to know the origins of this. This was made from Farquhar Forest that night we went out and saw some fairy tale looking cabin that we uh, of course took down and then made all sorts of things from the wood there. This is one of those things at Lord Farquhar. consistency for your shave so the combination of the right shaving foams and creams which will be perfect for your skin is an absolute essential here at the barb shop to ensure that you have the very best shave So, Lord Farquhar, would you be hosting any jousting tournaments this year? Oh, that is absolutely, absolutely that, yeah. That's great news to hear. Many, that is exactly what this place needs. Will I be competing? <laughs> of course, Lord Farquhar, I will always compete at the big joust. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Will you be jousting Lord Farquhar? No, not this year. A, a wise decision, of course. I would assume you would like to sit on your throne chair and overlook the, the tournament. Who would want to miss it?
course we're going to be using our gold cutthroat razor here as well which of course is the most special razors which we reserve only for when you come to the far ground and then it's locked away until your next visit so let me just begin the shape there for you who will never find a smoother blade than this gold one That feel okay for you, Lord Farquhar. Perfect, thank you. skin nice and smooth there it has really made very light work of this razor so you really get a nice shave here Side there for you. Lord Farquhar is everything good for you at the moment. That's great to hear. I have heard this rumor, Lord Farquhar, something that you might be interested in, perhaps some of you. security you can take a look at this or something like that but there has been talks that there's going to be a large influx of sort of not very well dressed people shall we say that have got their eye on this area now I know you have a very specific way on how this area should look and who should be in it and who shouldn't and you of course like the well-dressed and smart people and, and exceptionally rich and that's of course you know what everyone would want for this area Lord Farquhar though unfortunately last year we did notice those people that you probably saw outside in your carriage as you was arriving uh, those are probably people who actually wanted to come into this barber shop and get their hair cut and what's even worse is that they might have actually wanted a shave as well I know, <laughs> dreadful isn't it I'm glad you find that amusing I find it quite hard to believe myself 
Yeah, so it gets harder and harder each year to turn these people away. And what's even worse is that some of these people are actually stinking rich, Lord Farquaad. And you just would not think it whatsoever. You would look at them and you would just, you would think that just like all the others that you'd want to shoo away. And regardless whether they are stinking rich or not, I'm sure that this area is not the right place for Lord Farquaad, as I know you like all your traditions and and keep as medieval as possible in homage to you and your great lineage and family. So I think I would say perhaps this year keep an eye out for these people. Uh, there's a term that we around here like to use for them like at the suit store of the libraries security guards which we had around here uh, we call them a lower class uh, sort of riffraff that's what we refer them to it started with just a few here and there but they kept showing up in all of these places and unfortunately this become harder and harder to shoo them out of the premises and uh, just to make sure make them feel as unwelcome as possible so Lord Farquaad is just just to keep you informed of what's going around in this area I know that you have your council meetings and uh, something that I would have probably brought up uh, at the meeting there in your big large table and uh, we will gather there of course and have our meetings but uh, yeah I think it's probably worth just mentioning directly to you Lord Farquaad because of course you are the most important person in this area and we want to make sure that you are happy all the time absolutely all the time it's imperative that you can walk around and of course Lord Farquaad you want to make sure that when you travel around here that you're not going to have any unsavory looking people who are just going to make you leave a dis distasteful taste in your mouth a sour feeling sour taste whatever you like to call it uh, we we just call them unsavories really and uh, we prefer not to have these unsavories in this area because they really do tarnish you know the suit store and they just don't dress appropriately even the game store or farquad we've got that very modern game store that just they don't look like the sort of people the upper class people which uh, you like in this area so you know we do our best of course to accommodate for here and there and trying to filter out the, the super rich from the from the super rude and uh, yeah but we try just to make it a nice place here so that is looking absolutely amazing you Lord fuck what I've noticed you've Hooked up just a little bit there, and that's probably because you know you are looking sublime with your shave there. Okay, so we're going to do another hot towel on you there just to really soak it all in and make your skin feel absolutely amazing. Cold towel, then we will just sort out the length of your hair and just bring it up a little bit there as well. Can I interest you in more gingerbread there, Lord Farquhar? No, of course. I see you've got the taste for it. There. and hydrated and wrap for it nicely with the hot towel there. Okay, same again, straight off the fireplace there, Be gently steaming there, just add a little bit more water in that. Make sure it's nice and cool for you. That's great, and of course you notice the aroma. <laughs> yeah, let's get it again. Okay, so we're just going to place this on your chin then and hold it there. Then we're going to place this on your chin there and I'm going to hold it there as well. You just relax. I'm not going to put it all on your face this time. I'm just going to hold it on your chin there. So you should feel nice and relaxed and just gently 
feeling, the soothing sensation of the hot down. Should you wish to close your eyes at all, far God, you are an exceptionally busy person, so by all means, if you need to do that, then do it. There we go. Okay. And I always find the best thing. skin nice and preserved and youthful all the time. That is why all of those princesses always turn to look at you, Lord Farquaad. Your skin is amazing. just a little bit of ear hair there, Lord Farquaad. Would you like me just to attend to that for you? Absolutely, and on the other side there too. No. So I'm just going to dampen your hair there. I know it's all perfectly silky and smooth here at the moment. These are custom-made aromas at our perfume store. They make the very best for me, knowing that it's going to be there and used for you. So this one was taken from the forest. This scent is from there, and I'm sure you'll familiarize yourself with this one. And this one is equally something special for you, though uh, I think it will give those hints of gingerbread there for you as well, okay, so you always feel uh, superior, so let me just put that around here there, this has great qualities with the skin and it's the scents which are infused with this as well, which are really good for your skin and also very good for you to relax and also really do make you smell very nice as well as a barber shop and a barber would take care of all of those needs there for you so you keep relaxing and I will make sure that you are looking and feeling your best and smelling your best so you have nothing to worry about I have got it all sorted for you excellent Just 
perfect. I don't know how you keep your hair so amazing there, Lord Farquhar, but well, I do know, of course, it's great genes, but of course, a fantastic barber always helps, doesn't it? There we go. So, instead of putting the helmet on Lord Farquhar and then just cutting directly around. I'm pretty sure we've done it enough times that I can just do it with my hands. I'm sure you're going to be very pleasantly impressed. Okay, so it's just going to be this sort of motion as we go around. You keep it nice and still there for me. So we'll just keep start with your fringe here. Okay, we're going to put it to the side length there. Okay, that's great. again and a haircut and a look which is going to keep you fresh and feeling perfect for the beginning of the year to make you feel amazing so you can achieve all your accomplishments and everything that you want to do Lord Farquhar I know you've got lots of plans and you're exceptionally busy this time of year planning all these amazing events and opening up new places and stores and things for all the people here and the lords and ladies etc etc so uh, a haircut is of the utmost importance to make sure that you are feeling great as you go throughout this place and, and make it a perfect living area for folk like us. And let me just take this from you there. Okay. from so many of us who have places here and uh, in business we'd like to thank you humbly for making this place such a special area and we hope to continue to keep it like that okay and we will endeavor to 
make sure these outsiders feel as as welcome as we can possibly make it for them <laughs> yes yeah well of course we strive to walk in your image law of our god and we like to assume that our personality flows through your personality flows through us I and mean, you always know the right things to say to these people good is there anything else i can do with you excellent you flatter me you are too kind i'm glad you enjoyed take care of yourself i will call your character now cheerio